Uh, so think about this. This is a uh, typically you have a problem it's called business problem, like s such as um, talking about teleservice waiting time too long, I'm talking defect rates too high. So we have this typical that business solution business problem, and you don't want to jump to, which is to the business solution straight away. It's a shortcut. Looks like a shortcut. Actually, it's not. Most of the time. You're going to generate more problems if you just say, go to a solution straight away. So you're going to go this way, called statistical thinking, on, the, on my right, right hand side. What does it mean, statistical thinking? Using data. So the collecting more information about what's going on, why we have this problem, right? Huge amount of data. Then next, go to the analysis, like analyze. We use a statistical tools to think about what's going on. Then maybe run some hypothesis testing, right? Oh, we figure out this is, could be the cause, this could be the problem. Then we have our statistical solution. Combine together with your process knowledge. I'm talking about two legs. Then you come up with a solution, business solution. All right, so always think of this way, not find a shortcut. There's no such thing called shortcut. Uh, what I'm going to do is talk about is DMAC frame. All right? Everyone understand DMAC, so I'm not, going, I'm not a part, uh, Six Sigma person, so I'm a statistician. But I'm going to introduce what are the tools for the whole DMAC phase, DMAIC. So we understand define, just find a problem. Measure, measure your data. Analyze, figure out the uh, root causes, and improve, just implement your solution. Control, monitor, the process makes sure stable. So the define stage, typically we just say identify the problem. That's the define stage. Uh, just my, I try to switch back to Minitab. So these are the tools say in Minitab. What are you going to do? What can you do in Minitab to find out using the define stage, find a problem? So these are the tools available. Pareto chart. Have you heard of Pareto chart before? Yeah. So I have example. Le list all the mistakes, right? So suppose we have invoice mistakes. Uh, we send to the wrong address, we, we, uh, we list the wrong price, we send to, say, put in the wrong quantity, whatever. So I list it, and also I have a frequency in another column. I can use Pareto chart, okay? Figure out, I want to fix this, say, 80% of those mistakes, because I have budget, right? I can't run the project forever. I have a limited budget. If I target those 80% of those mistakes, which probably only 20% of those types, all right, just this area gonna fix 80% of mistakes. That's how people use Pareto chart.